think it's really important we um, showcase some of the great things coaches are doing in Victoria um, and Alex is certainly one of those. He's a real quiet achiever um, and he's been doing some amazing stuff in the women and girls space um, culminating in his uh, state grade pennant team here at Harkaway Tennis Club. Uh, my name is Alex Hogan. I grew up playing in uh, Glen Waverley. I probably started coaching when I was about 16 years old around that area at a few different clubs um, and then made my way out to Harkaway probably about eight or eight or nine years ago. It's a small little club, maybe with about 20 kids at the time, and I was fortunate enough to be accepted as the head coach here. Uh, since I've arrived at Harkway, we've developed a pathway, I guess, for especially women and girls in the sport. So from sort of our state grade team through to our younger juniors, nine or 10, that are now doing our No Limit squad. So it helps them see the progression that they can have in their own tennis journey. So I coach probably three or four girls in that team, the Harkway state grade team. Girls are fortunate enough, fortunate enough sorry, to have a really good season, um, just going down to Kuyong in the final of the state grade. Um, so I've coached Kate Smith since she was about nine, one of the um, Harkway Premier League players and also state grade players. She's come through the ranks quite well. She works hard sort of every day and gets the most out of her tennis. Um, and she's been inspiring for the younger girls. I think seeing her compete at the highest level in Victoria um, shows girls that coming from a small sort of club around this area that they can do it too um, and I know Kate's got a keen interest in working with our young girls to help them achieve their goals too like like she probably wish she had growing up um, so yeah she's been um, fantastic for our tennis club. I've been playing since I was four and up until I was about nine until Alex came uh, it was just more of a fun activity for me to do and then when Alex came I started to take it more seriously and have been ever since. He's very, very supportive, he's very, very approachable and you can always just have a laugh with him and you can have a cry with him as well. It's been an honour to be able to represent Harkaway the last couple of years. Just being able to compete at the highest level in the state and being able to represent Harkaway has been fantastic. I think for Harkaway it's been really good exposure for us here. Going into state grade a lot of people probably look up Harkaway and question where is Harkaway and who are Harkaway. It's a small little four-court club in the middle of the sticks out here. I think one of the great things um, here this morning is actually just seeing uh, Scarlett and Kate inter interact with each other. Um, you can obviously see Scarlett really looks up to Kate and um, she can see you know, that future and that pathway here that, that Alex has been able to um, develop for the girls. So at Harkaway we've been approved for not only one but two No Limits girls squads. Um, so one of the girls that plays in that squad and also competes in Super Tens is Scarlett Lukaci. Yeah, Scarlett's great to work with. She's like a mini me when I was that age, just like having that inspiration. And it's great because when I was her age, I didn't really have that role model as a woman to look up to. So like, I'm hoping that I can be that for Scarlett. Um, I'm really lucky to have Kate as a coach because um, I look up to her a lot and it, it really inspires me to be like really good at that age as well like that. One of the problems I find in tennis is just keeping the girls in the sport. Um, so this, the No Limit squads, the teams and programs we can create shows them a pathway, um, a safe environment, inclusive environment where they want to continue the sport and hopefully keep them in as long as we can. It's been great to come here this morning and, and see Alex um, at Harkaway and it's uh, just a, a little way to recognise all the great work that he's been doing here at Harkaway in the community and in particular in that women and girls space.